I have gathered everyone here today to make an important announcement. Perhaps some of you will have heard the news already. I am, in fact, planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Rebuild the Jade Chamber? That's a huge project! So the rumors are true. No wonder the price of building materials has gone up so much lately. The Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. Getting involved in this would be a huge opportunity. Lady Ningguang, is there any way we can be of service? Patience. Since the news made it out a few days ago, I have already had many people contacting me to declare an interest in... Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here today. The building site has been chosen, and most of the materials have been assembled. Three key items are, however, still up. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. I, I'm familiar enough with Plostrite, but I've never even heard of those other- Only sufficiently large pieces of Plostrite, or specifically, Vermilionite, may earn themselves the Sunset moniker. This stone is what allows the Jade Chamber to float. Wonder Cores, meanwhile, are the central components of the mechanical structure of the Jade Chamber. Adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with Adepti art. They are as indispensable as the mechanical core itself. Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capabilities, procuring them will not be a question of if, but of when. I take the saying, time is money, more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. You may ask me any- These things won't be easy to get hold of. But if it means a chance to get some inside information on Liuette Harbor's development plan for next year... Then it's the deal of a lifetime. Information from Lady Ningguang is priceless. Whoever gets to it... Ha <laughs> ha! What a coincidence! I won't divulge too much, but I heard some murmurings about some plot strike just the other day. So excuse me all... Ah, <sighs> no. We better move quickly, or this opportunity will be... Ningguang's rebuilding the Jade Chamber? This is... So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? Interested? Yes. Providing the question pertains to something I am knowledgeable about. Really? Ooh, then Paima will ask you about... Then we'll never be short of Mora ever again. <laughs> of course. But how much information I share with you will depend on your performance. The construction of the Jade Chamber requires a great deal of space. The abandoned mo- I have other business to attend to. Remember, this is a race against the clock. Ningguang seems super busy. First we gotta get out of Yujing Terrace. Uh, huh? Look! It seems like there's- Ma'am, you seem like an eminent and distinguished young lady to me. I can see that you're easily going to win this procurement contest. As it happens, we have some information about the materials that I re- No, I don't need it. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Why don't you stand there? Oh, right, yeah. Did you hear that? They said they had some useful information! Information's just what we need right now! Let's follow them and see what we can find out! Look at that, ma'am. Nowhere left to run. Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You give us some mora, we give you a little info. Everybody's a winner. 
Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there, there's something different about- So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we- I've already told you. I don't need your information. If you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. Uh, come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over and nobody getting hurt. I won't... No more excuses! Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food, and only taking a few bites. Then Shinyue Kiosk, then Wanmin Restaurant. Same story each time. You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your way again. How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? Master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harbor, but here we are. Hmm, perhaps... Ah, uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Boss, I'm telling you, something's not right. What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue her for everything she's worth. Oh, you again. The Millilith. What, what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? <clears throat> you ought to mind- Silence! How dare you threaten innocent civilians! You're- <laughs> No, no! Don't, don't, don't! <sighs> Shen He. Shen He? My name. Oh, so your name's Shen He! Paimon's name is... Well, Paimon! And this is Paimon's travel buddy! Oh, I've heard about you two before. <sighs> Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. <sighs> I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. <gasps> you, you can't do that! That's way too violent! This is Lila Harbor! There are laws against that kind of stuff, you know! Laws? <sighs> no. Apparently not. Really? <sighs> That would be my stomach growling. Hmm, I haven't eaten enough. She's so honest. Wait, that's right! They said you went around all the restaurants ordering this and that and the other, but only took a small bite of each dish. Then of course you're still hungry! So, anything in particular? Hmm, Chingson, Glaze Lily, Violet Grass. These are my usuals. Hmm, medicinal herb? Kinda hard to explain. Anyway, Boo Boo Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take Shenha there for a bit. After all, you... Psst. Do you think Shenha might be an adeptus? It seems like it's her first time in Liyue Harbor, and she doesn't seem to get how things work here. If she is... Are you here to buy some herbs? I do... Chingson, Glaze Lily, and Violet Grass, please. Half a pound of each. What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's everything we have in... Thank you. She's really eating that! <sighs> My hunger has now abated. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Rather awful. <sighs> Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance, after consuming a large quantity of them, bitterness is all that remains. So, how come you chow down on these and barely touch the restaurant food? If Paimon had enough, Mora, Paimon would go to the fi- Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious. But should I return to the mountains, Yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Return to the mountains? 
That proves it! Paimon knew she was an adeptus! Mm, enough about me. What are your plans from here? Oh, right! Paimon almost forgot! We came out to take part in the rebuild the Jade Chamber and... And now we're probably super behind because we've been held up for so long. Hmm, I see. I heard something about the contest when... <laughs> yep! You get to ask Ningguang any quick... Were you interested in the con... Hmm. I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber, but until this point I had no intention of joining a contest. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now like to lend you my assistance. Wow! You really don't have... But having an Adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier. Then let's not delay. I have a plan. Great! Paimon bets this is gonna be the awesomest plan... Mm, I am not sure whether, or to what extent, this plan can be classified as... Awesome. I do, however, believe it will be highly effective. We simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Then, we alone shall become the- Vito! That is not acceptable! Not by a long shot! Really? But I hear that competition is in essence about conf- Look, we want to win this competition fair and square, okay? <sighs> Sunset Vermilion Night, Wonder Course, and Adepti Sigils. Let's start at the top of the list and work down. So, for Plastrite... I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. So, it's you. Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so I came out to fetch the ingredients personally. Huh? How come Lady Ningguang needs so much wound dressing all of a sudden? I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe for its first aid on site? I didn't ask, though. Far be it from me to pry into my customers' personal affairs. Oh, and she also borrowed Chi-Chi. -chi. Meaning Boo Boo Pharmacy is very short-handed right now. I don't suppose any of you are looking for- No, no, we've got other stuff to do. Um, while you're here though, you seem to know- Ah, the variety of Plostrite used in the Jade Chamber, yes? There is some- As far as the records show, virtual- Okay then, let's go- Thanks, Baiju! You're quite welcome. Good luck to you all. And if there's anything further you need from me, just come to the Boo Boo Pharmacy. speed. Beg for mercy. Shudder! Thank <laughs> you. 
scout. More speed. More speed. Master Singcho, thank goodness you're finally back. Oh? Why do I detect an urgency in your voice? The Guild has had a whole string of strange orders in recently. Everyone's been completely caught off guard. Your father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay and help out if I happen to see you. I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. I'll deal with them myself shortly. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Master. With you on the job, I can breathe a sigh of Hey, Shinsho! Glad you're here. We want to ask you for some information. Traveler, Paimon, please wait a moment. Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll discuss the matter of the Guild's or- Understood, Master Singchio. Then I will leave you in peace. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And how, pray tell, may I be of service? Shinchu, have you ever heard of Sunset Vermilionite? Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Ningguang's contest as well. As well? The truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite. But only one piece. We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction. And a lot of interested parties have already come to us. At the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. In this case, I'm guessing the final transaction price may be in excess of- 500 million?! Honestly, I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price is greatly inflated, and it's just not worth it. But... without it- Don't panic. I don't su- Who? Hmm. Seagazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper, but if I am not mistaken, he has- Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. According to records of drifting clouds, Seagazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most exquisite treasures, among which was some sunset vermilionite. After Seagazer passed, the abode was abandoned, and its location was lost to time. Luckily, I came into possession of a stack of folk history books just recently. They make some oblique references to this lost abode, and after cross-referencing them against each other, I'm now fairly certain that it is situated in the Leisha area. That's great! Um, but is it really okay for us to just go and take his treasure? Wouldn't it be a little, you know, dis- <laughs> You needn't worry. As far as I understand, Seagazer was very open-minded. Even while he was alive, he wouldn't have let something like this bother him. Open-minded? I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. May I ask where you read that? Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. <sighs> All right then, let's go. Hmm. There's something about this young lady that reminds me of a good friend of mine.
Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs, especially when it comes to their defense mechanisms. Plus, it's likely to be crawling with monsters after being abandoned for so long. So please, be very careful. More speed.
see. Shinjo said it should be around here, but Paimon doesn't see anything. Hmm. This place was hidden using a special Adepti art. But now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Hey, look! Is that a new celium? Waterfall just now? How did we suddenly end up here? Hmm. I believe this is the abode of that Adeptus. With any luck, the sunset familiar night we're looking for should be in here. Really? Let Paimon see! Huh? Isn't it? Look, it's gone and, and now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem complete! <gasps> These are not real clouds. They are the product of an Adepti art used for spatial partitioning. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the Adept- All right, then let's- I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are hiding, so we'd better be careful. Configuration.
It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. Crush. Time for a light show. Looks like we need to go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Your master's finished! <laughs> Unleash! Torn to oblivion! Beg for mercy. <laughs> Manifest! You will regret this! I swear by my sword! Go for ship down! Cryo incarnate! Unleash!
unleash! Oh! Do your master's bidding! Now you shall perish! Obey! Barbados, guide us. Freeze to the core. Rack and ruin. Fire hazard. Inazuma shines eternal! Shine down! Go as blood! Feel the slit! Unleash! There is no escape! Prostrate doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the same amount. Only after being activated does Plostrite reveal its true nature, breaking free from the shackles of the mortal realm and ascending up into the heavens. Wow, Shenha, you seem to know every- Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment she has some time to spare, she'll come straight for me and start telling story after story. I don't care for her stories most of the time. I certainly didn't expect them to ever come in handy like that. Hold on a sec! If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? Heck, we'll be dragged up into the sky too! But if we don't activate it, how else are we- Don't worry. I can handle the weight quite easily. Are you sure? Please don't worry. I'm well aware that a plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gentle with it and make sure it does not my safety. That's right! Paimon 
Cherry, you gotta be extra careful when lifting heavy objects. It's just common sense. Hmm. Is it now? Hmm. Well then, thank you. I'll go on ahead with the plostrite. Let's meet at the build. How is Shenhe able to carry that huge rock all by herself? Huh. Adept I super strength much? We can't slow down yet. Let's go meet her at the... Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that massive rock all by her- Oh mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing, so that in the coming year I may- This is top tier, in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations, this item is approved. I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite. My name isn't important, I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. Shenha! And Ningguang's little helper! Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plot, but I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper, it's secretary. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary. In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chain. As a side note, Lady Ning... Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there... Shenhua! Shenhua! Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, re What kind of reaction is that? So, whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon... I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus, treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Yeah, cause that's how adept I are. At least- But uh, I am not, uh... Shenha? <sighs> I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift- <sighs> No need. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. When you're hungry, you go eat something taste- Okay. Great! Now we're talking! Let's- Hi there! Checking Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people. So, business is booming for me today. Very few vacancies. You're lucky you got here when you- Great! One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. The other room is just at the door on- Here are your keys. All right- Shenha, you should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside. Paimon's gonna go see if there's anything good. Let's buy one for Shenhua, too. <sighs> All right. I will head to my room for now. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb. Mm-hmm. Hey! Isn't that Cloud Retainer? What's she doing here? Let's go and say hi. Huh? 
One trusts you have met Shen He. So, are you getting along qu So far so good, yeah! So Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. All the Adepti living today are acquainted with Shen He, to some degree. Cool! So, calling her Shen He feels kind of friendly, but also kind of dis- Her Adeptus name? Why, pray tell, would Shen He have an Adept- Uh... Don't all Adepti have a special title they go by? On this latter point, you are correct. However, Shen He is human. Oh, right. Wait, what? Paimon neither! This is a real surprise! Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? Well, to start with, her problem-solving methods are... extremely direct. Ah, oh, yes. She was like this all those years ago when one first met her. In this respect, she has not. One first found Shanha by chance in a cave. One was passing by and sensed the presence of a god's remains. Being of an inside was Shanha, then aged around six years old. In her hand, she held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster that was the god's remains incarnate. That sounds... When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Most mortal children are fragile, but that she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower, but also one dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had no intention to cause her... In other words, if you hadn't passed by that day? Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. Even had the stalemate continued, one suspects that Shen He may have still emerged the victor of the confrontation. That's still so dangerous, though! Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. Indeed, it is one to whom she refers. Xian He has an extraordinary constitution, making her well adapted to practicing the Adepti arts. All the Adepti cherished her talents, and so we were willing to train her. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Rather, they grew strong. Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, she is prone to bring harm to those around her. Such is the magnitude of the danger this poses, that her soul must be bound with red ropes to keep her homicidal instinct at bay. The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer, and more content. But they also seem to have rendered her... somewhat inexpressive. Perhaps the red ropes are so powerful that they have suppressed some of her other emotions as well. It is only by fate that people's paths- Oh, now Paimon gets it! Huh. You dare draw such a facile con- Ningguang once made a bold assertion that this is to be the era of the contract between Liu Wei and the humans. If she handles it admirably, let us conclude our conversation here for today. One has occupied enough of your time, and night is approaching. Be sure- There seemed to have one has heard the play portrays. So, Shenhua isn't an adeptus after all. She just grew up around the adeptus. Die.
Oh, no wonder she doesn't like being treated as an adeptus. Master has relayed my situation to you, I take it. Oh? How I'd intended to wait until you came back before going to sleep, but I didn't hear you come in. I was worried that something may have happened to you. So I went up on top of this. You have been acting very strangely around me this morning, causing me to suspect that my master must have told you everything about me. After all, master is... <laughs> Sorry, Shenhua. Paimon had you down as an adeptus this whole time, but... It's okay. The fault is mine for not explaining every... St for this, I am very grateful indeed. To be fair, we've met our fair share of... Anyway, now it's settled. From now... Got it. Although I don't know quite what it is. Great! Well, now that we're... But before we do that, let's go to the building site and ask Ning... After all, Sunset... Oh, and another thing. We bought some grilled chicken drumsticks on the way back last night. There was a place just outside. Here's one for you, Shenhua. Try it! They're so good. I concur. It has a rich flavor. Far more agreeable than those I've cooked for myself in the wilderness in the past. That's because it's not finished. Hey, Bylin! And hey, Beto! And hey! Um, person Paimon doesn't... Given the enormous scale of the Jade Chamber, we split the construction work into two phases to make sure before we find some suitable plostrite, we build the Jade Chamber's keel at ground level. Once the plostrite is ready, we place it into the keel and let the partially constructed jade chamber rise up to the height of the surrounding mountain. The remainder of the construction work is then carried out at that altitude. Once everything is ready, we release the iron tethers and allow the jade... Miss Bywin, we've brought some new materials to submit. One moment. Uh, the construction work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plostrite provided by you. Lady Ningguang is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work. Wow. Can't believe you sourced the plostrite so quickly. It's the key piece of the... Beto? You're joining the... <laughs> sure am. I happened to get my hands on a chunk of Sunset Vermilionite on a voyage a while back, so I figured I'd bring it over. Huh. So even though it's rare... We're not the only one. Oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is the renowned Miss Yun, or Yun Jin, probably the most famous figure in the Liyue opera scene. Greetings. These two are Paimon and the Traveler, both good buddies. Shen he. I am their... Mm, friend. <laughs> good to meet you. Uh, Miss Yun is also here for the contest. Turns out she needed to borrow a boat, so we came together. It's an honor to finally meet you both. I've heard much about you. Miss Shenhe, though we are only meeting for the first time, I have a feeling that we will get along fair to be honest with you all. Wow. So it look Excuse me for prying, Miss Shenhe, but are you competing as well? No. I don't have any questions for Ning Wong. I just wanted to help her win. In that case, I have a Lady Ningguang said that the first three contestants to procure all three materials will be awarded the chance to ask a question. Well, there are three teams here. We can split the prize between us. Instead of competing against each other, we could work together to secure the top three places between us. Sounds great, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think I see the plostrite was the most difficult item to source by a long shot. Luckily, all three of us managed to get our hands on it. The two remaining items aren't quite so rare, so as long as one of us finds a way to source it, the other two can hop on the bandwagon. How'd I do? Is that what you had in mind? Precisely. Huh. 
Okay then. All right. From what I've heard, we will head into town and seek advice. Wonderful. I'm gonna take off. See you later. Okay. Let's. By the way, what question are you gonna ask Ningguang Yunjin? I'm looking for a venue to host the performance of our new opera, Lady Ningguang. Ooh, what's the opera called? The opera is a labor of love by my father. He, it's called the Divine Damsel of Devastation. something bad in the sea. So, she sent Chi-Chi to evac, but no one will listen to Chi-Chi. So, instead, Chi-Chi is guarding this place. If danger come, don't go near the sea. The zombie called Chi Chi is right. A great wrath brews in the sea. I don't know where this wrath comes from, so let's keep our distance for the time being. Eye for an eye!
Hmm? Uh Excuse me, Master Zhang. We were one. Of course I have. My name is Yunjin. Yunjin? Stage use. <coughs> Sorry. My brain's finally caught up. <sighs> it's not used to doing much beyond bashing. So, you're here to ask about Wonder Cores, huh? As it happens, I do know. The types of ore needed to make Wonder Cores are a little hard to come by. Lady Ni No? We <laughs> if I remember, it could take some work, but if you stick with it, uh, of course, it's. Mount Tianhong. Interestingly, I hear the view there. Perhaps it can give me some ins. I came to Mount Tianung once with my father as a child. I remember it being such a long climb that I could barely feel my legs by the time we reached the top. <laughs> this is quite a trip down memory lane for me. Look at these majestic towering pe- No wonder the legend of the Divine Damsel- The Divine Damsel of Devastation is your upcoming opera, right? And this- What's the story of the- It's- the story of a girl becoming a hero. Cool! The legend first arose in this air In that village, there was a- The wife was out. The vile and vicious monster told the villagers- What a nasty piece of work! But the monster was so terrible and so strong that all with just while they were discussing whose child- No! Don't do it, little- Unbeknownst to anybody else, she- Her extraordinary abilities drew the attention of the Adepti. And they- and so, destined to grace the mortal ra I really like this story, but I personally think that perhaps the little girl was... not as brave as the opera makes her out to be. I'm not sure she deserves all the praise she is- Hmm, my opera is always an interp- when my father wrote the script- Hmm, I think it's a great story. Well, it sure- Illusion shattered! There is no escape!
I do hope the Knights of Favonius are all working hard. It's time to move on. We shouldn't stay here. I think I saw a village on our way here. Master Jong said we should ask the locals for help. Why don't we try there? Hey! There really is someone here! Yunjin, looks like you were right! Ah! <gasps> Hello, sir. We were just past- <gasps> Is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? Shenhua, Yunjin. Sorry, you can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. If that's okay with you, Uncle Mingjin. It's- Shenhua. Shenhua. You're a- I'm sorry, I don't know how to find Subrosium. But I think you can find some information in the village. Well, this place is deserted now. N huh? You know this guy? Uh... Thank you, kind sir. We'll go and- Don't worry. Mingjin has no ill intention towards Miss Shenhe. She'll be- Okay! Then let's- The remains of a god, an abandoned village. Does this mean that the true story of the divine... The time frame certainly matches. I hope the others find some. Huh. What's this? So... Shenha? Now that I think about it... So that's why I've been get... According to this text... And... She didn't volunteer. She was... Sa oh. The truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Huh. But still no mention of Sabrosium. Let's have a look over there. This is it. 
So basically, we need to go to the middle of the lake south of Mount Tianhong. Let's go back and tell Shenhe. One year when I was back visiting, I heard a story about a white-haired adeptus from a merchant passing by. I was a very close friend of your fr- I bring flowers back here every year. Apologize for what? If you'd stopped him, he'd only have found another way. There is nothing he wouldn't have done for his true love. Do you still... I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity, so my master bound my soul with red ropes to curb my aggression. But it also dampened my emotions, making me dispassionate, like the Adepti. So if you ask me how I feel about the past, if I hate my father or not, the truth is, I feel nothing at all. It must have been so tough for you. Shenha, we're back! Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. I'll tell you more about the old times next time we meet. Thanks, mister. We found some info in the end. Shenhe, look. This tells us how to- hm. Let's go- uh, Miss Shenhe, there's something I'd like to- Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. It turns out that many of the details in the Divine Damsel of Devastation are not true to the facts. So I'd like to change the- Why? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth. It's okay. I like- <sighs> My master once said that the day- I So, I hope that- But I've never thought this way before, and I wonder- Don't worry. I- In fact, I think maybe you- Shenhe! Yinjin! Cut the chit-chat! We can't let someone else- What brings you here? Have they found a solution to the danger in the sea? Ningguang did- Something has happened in Guyan Stone Forest. According to the contract, as an adeptus, I should not get involved for now. But these things can be unpredictable. I have a contingency plan of my own. Only a single mountain lies between here and Liu Ehar. If things get out of control, I will defend this place myself. any progress. Oh. S so... This is some top quality ore you found. Uh 
guess now it's my time. Hey everyone, how's the A-Team doing? I ran into a bit of a brick wall on my end. Suling's never seen a Wonder Core before, and says it'd take a lot of research for him to get up to sp- uh, Leave the Wonder Cores to me. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> Much obliged, Master Zhang. I'll sort that out. Oh? Uh. Yes. I have- When we first met, I told you I came for the Jade Chamber, not the- In fact, I came specifically to deliver Adepti sigils. Master heard that Ning Wong was planning to re- Master also said she hoped that I can take this opportunity to rejoin human society. Maybe it won't work for me to stay- Without knowing the ins- But now that our path- Thank you. So, Master- Fine by me. I'm actually curious to see how the Adepti arts work. Maybe- Whew. The sigils are ready. Though they are in some respects inferior to my masters, I can assure you there will be no quality issues. I've finished forging the things you asked for, too. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else gets there ahead of us! Guang's little secretary! We found all the materials! Oh! All three of you found them together. The Wonder Cores and Adepti sigils look good. I hereby announce that the winners of this material procurement contest- What? It's over already? I haven't even found the plus strike yet! Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, so close, but so far. I'd like to invite our three winners to please proceed to the Jade Chamber, where Lady Ning- Huh? Where's Beto? Captain Beto has some business to attend to. She will join- Alright then, guess we'll head on up- This has been a lot- <laughs> Combine the Adepti sigils with the Wonder Cores and insert them into the Jade Chamber's control compartment. The construction of the new Jade Chamber is now officially complete. Once the tethers are released, it will soar into the... Thank you all for your work. Now... Yeah! Miss Yun, I've already heard something about the reason for your... That's right, Lady Ningguang. I would like to hear your- The unveiling of Miss Yoon's grand new opera surely requires a venue of equal grandeur. So what would you say if I proposed that the Jade Chamber offers a splendid panoramic view of the mountains and- <sighs> Thank you, Lady Ning- You're quite welcome. It's truly what a good opera deserves. Oh, a traveler, Shenhe, Paimon, I'll be leaving now. 
Do come and see my play when the time comes. You're next. What is your... I should clarify. I do not know your brother's whereabouts. Please, don't waste your question on this matter. Wow. You're a mind reader, Ninglung. Oh, well. Guess Paimon will ask a question then. Managing a successful business is not as simple as you might think. Cap, if you want to know how to make money, I will honor our agreement and give you an answer. But that is not to say... Wow. Paimon hadn't even asked the question. Your question was written all over your face. Now look. You helped me rebuild the Jade Chamber, and I intend to repay you handsomely for it. So I promise you that should you one day require financial assistance, you may seek employment here. I will pay you at the- Oh, great! No more questions from us! Sh me? Yes, this is a- Thank you. But I don't have- Are you sure? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity- Yeah, just don't wait- Lady Ningguang. Do you think I can ever fit in in Li- Now that is an interesting question. Liyue Harbor is very inclusive. So, the key is what- Huh. Yes. Perhaps someone you've met, or something you've experienced here. Or in short. Huh. I see. Hey, what's going on? I just went to see the fleet. I'm a little later than expected. Come on, Beidou! It's you- Me? <laughs> nah, I ain't got any questions. She forced me to help out, so I figured I may as well get involved in Guang. It's not going to be easy to deal with. I don't think my fleet can take it on their own. Don't worry. I have... M <sighs> Glad to hear it. Watch your back. Beidou? Ningguang? What are you ta- You'll see when the Jade Chamber ascends. However, it's not the most pleasant topic of conversation. Maybe it's better that you d When I first set foot in the Jade Chamber, I stood at the edge of the platform and looked down upon Liyue Harbor far below. At that time, I dreamed that one day the Jade Chamber's shadow would be seen in all seven nations of t My wish has not changed to this very day. However, it I hope the Jade Chamber will always float in the skies, and I hope that you can all witness it with me. Let the Ascension Ceremony commence! The Avenger of the Vortex by Sh. Who is that? Osile's wife. Final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Got it! Well, let's go fetch the Adepta! No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyue must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone!
are a cursed child. Your life brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others is the day that you can truly become part of human society. What are you doing here? We can't let you be the only one taking this risk! I hardly see this as a great risk. The people of Liyue Harbor are well prepared, and she is already badly injured. Only sheer willpower is keeping her alive. I may be nearing the end of my stamina, but in a fight to the death, I think I have the upper hand. This place is unstable. 
It is too risky to continue pursuing her. If the place collapsed, the consequences would be disastrous. Let's head back. I'm just a little exhausted. I wanted to deal with it myself. I didn't- Don't worry. She's not coming back anytime soon. After an injury like that, she'll likely seek refuge somewhere else. How did things go underwater? It's been dealt with. She was injured before entering the water. It didn't take too much effort to finish the job. Good. So the crisis has been safely averted. When you visit the Jade Chamber in the future, you will be afforded generous treatment. Lady Ningguang, the fleet reports that the sea monster has left Guyan Stone Forest and the surrounding waters have returned. Thank you. How are the Millilip? Thanks to the medical supplies you prepared and Lady Keqing's command, our losses... Of course, we owe huge thanks to this young lady for her. On behalf of the entire Millilith, thank you for... I... Uh, great. Then next time I watch Miss Yun's opera, I'll be able to take the compliments. I wasn't trying to be a hero, though. I just wanted to... Let the soldiers recuperate. But don't let your... Yes, ma'am. You've been monitoring us for some time now. I trust you've reached a conclusion. Hmm. You wish to hear one's opinion. Well, things would have hardly gone so smoothly had it not been for Shen He. That I do not deny. However, final victory was always going to be ours, even had things been a little more arduous. If it came to it, I could always destroy another Jade Chamber. One has observed your adaptation of the Guizhong Ballista, and find oneself compelled to admit that you have evidenced some degree of novel thinking. You have learned from past failures and prepared for this crisis in advance. This is considerable progress compared to the last time. Hence, on balance, one finds your performance during this trial. While the position of Tianchuan remains mine, I will always ensure Liu Shenhe. One. Hopefully, this trip to Liu Ai. Yes, I. Can. I feel happier than I expected. Hmm. Good, traveler. In fact, one has many fond memories of Shenhe's childhood that she may be interested to hear about. There'll be no need for that. Oh. Hm. They are all like this. Fine. Since you care not to listen, one shan't be telling you. One shall be going homeward now. Please, have a good rest. We must celebrate both the completion of the Jade Chamber and the fact that Li- All of you here are my distinguished guests. Those who don't drink alcohol, please, help yourself to other bev- Have you heard? Miss Yun's going to be performing- Sure have. I hear she's going to perform the Divine Damsel of Devastation today. The one written- Hey! Look!
这里本该接近尾声，但今日我再添一笔，唱一祝。茫茫天地无依靠，孤身离去。今日再会，新朋旧友坐满堂，共聚此时。Thanks to you, the divop. The play has an ending, but life goes on. Thank you, Ms. Yun. <laughs> Here you are, huh? Hey, this young lady with the white hair looks like some kind of VIP. Wait, you're the girl from the opera, aren't you? The divine damsel herself. Let me pull up a chair. All right. <sighs> Alternatively, you could leave us alone. That is, if you'd prefer to finish your drink via the orifice of your own choice. Uh oh, this feels all too familiar. Shenhe's back to. Hey, what are you doing? Calm down, Shenhe. 